Right, hey, tell the other champs now, let's review this 27 inch iMac, the new one with 10th generation CPUs and the new Radeon Pro graphics. I have the base model here. Make sure you subscribe because I will be comparing it to the maxed out model and also comparing it to the MacBook Pro 16, gaming, video editing, performance, all that sort of stuff. We're going to unbox this, I'm going to do my quick review to sum up. I test all the new stuff, 10th generation CPUs. It's not going to be any different from the 9th generation CPUs unless you get the 10 core one. Or well, the graphics, I've only got the base model, but yeah, it's pretty good graphics. Thermal output is pretty much the same, maybe 10 to 15 watts more. Total sustained power. Okay, 62 watts up to 70 watts on the GPU. And this is running simultaneously with the CPU. And there we're getting 77 watts on the CPU, woof. Test the fan noise, that's okay. It's nice and toasty, 95. Okay, so I've already run Cinebench, and I can tell you it got up to 90 degrees maintained about 75 watts and it was completely silent yeah no fan at all well there's probably a fan on but i can't hear it at all so i'm going to hit the cpu and gpu at once so this is the maximum load we'll just hit the cpu had a good cinebench score of 3339 which is good for a six core and now we're going to hit cinebench i mean luxmark as well and so this is cpu and gpu 100 percent together Start to hear it now. So yeah, you could just hear the fans at the end there. So it's CPU and GPU 100%. The good thing is it's still maintaining 75 watts while the GPU is being hit at the same time. And if we have a listen, That's pretty much maximum fan speed and fan load there because that's 100% CPU, 100% GPU, and it is in Windows. So in Mac OS, it might be some undervolting, might not be this loud. Microphones, yeah, they're all right. All right, so let's have a listen to my audio. I'm probably about two and a half, three foot away. This is what the mic quality sounds like of this new 27 inch 2020 iMac studio quality mics it's supposed to be uh let me know what you think of them um it's very low to noise so woo! oh i can make them peak i know that yeah do they sound good let me know the sound not as good as the macbook pro 16 but decent all right so let's have a listen to these speakers and they sound pretty good oh 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 he's in he's in action tonight Speakers are good, but and they're pretty loud, but I reckon the MacBook Pro speakers are better than the 16-inch. Oh, have a look at him. He's the man. But anyway, let's unbox it and get into it. Also, I'll show you how to upgrade the RAM. You, you can actually put DDR3200 modules in it, so that's awesome. RAM is running at 3200, or at least in Windows it does. And yeah, those bezels. Some men would be embarrassed by the size of those bezels. Right, so here we have it in all its glory. This is the iMac, the new iMac, 10th generation iMac, and have a look at it. Looks exactly the same as the last one. Now, this is the base model. I'm going to get in the top end model. I'm going to be comparing them, so make sure you subscribe for that. There it is. We'll see the back of it. Look, it does look beautiful like that. Classic design. What about those bezels? Oh, look at those beautiful bezels. So let's unbox it, get into it. So for RAM, RAM is so easy to upgrade. You just, you know, take the power out, you press on that button just underneath where that hatch is. That's where the memory is. Then you just pry apart those levers. You just click on the edge of them. It'll pop out the RAM. 
just make sure when you take the RAM out, you put it in the same slots. Don't mix and match memory. <laughs> that is bad advice. Make sure you stick with the same memory modules, the same size. So don't mix 8 gig sticks with 16 gig sticks, etc. You won't run in dual channel then. So just take a note of where that notch is when you take the RAM modules out and put it in the same way, the new RAM that is, put it in the same way as you took it out. And just pop it in, place it back, you're done. It's that simple. Now, what do you think about it? Should you buy the Intel iMac? Well, those bezels are big. Woo, they are big and you can't escape those bezels. If you buy an Intel iMac, it's a sure bet. All your software is going to work. Everything's going to work. You can run it as a Windows machine. You can game on it. Yeah, it's going to be better than Apple Silicon in that regard. Of course, the new Apple Silicon iMacs, I think the 27-inch will be a while off. The 24-inch looks like it's going to get updated first. That thing's going to look sexy. It's going to have small bezels. Might have a HDR display, Face ID, but it may also have compatibility issues. And yeah, what's your time worth? Do you want to be messing about? Oh, my plug-in doesn't work and all this, you know. Buy this thing. It's going to last you five years. 128 gigs. It's going to last you 10 years if you want to use it as a Windows machine. And even as a Mac machine, you could probably use it for that long. So it's up to you. Catch you in the next one. Tally ho.